High up in the mountains, where the air is crisp and the views are breathtaking, lived a marmot named Monty. Monty was a curious little creature with a thick furry coat and bright, inquisitive eyes. Now, Monty was known far and wide for his love of sleep. He could sleep through anything, and his friends often joked that he could even sleep through an avalanche. He had a cosy bed made of soft moss and leaves, which he had carefully gathered from the forest floor. This bed was his sanctuary, a place where he could escape the world and dream to his heart's content. Every day, he would burrow deep under his blankets, creating a snug little nest that kept him warm and safe. He loved the feeling of being cocooned in his bed. Surrounded by the earthy scent of the forest, Monty slept so soundly that even the mountain goats bleating couldn't wake him. The goats would graze nearby, their bells tinkling softly, but Monty remained undisturbed. Every sunny morning, the birds were singing a cheerful tune. Their melodies filled the air, creating a symphony of nature's sounds. The sun peeked through the trees, painting the forest floor with golden light. The warm rays danced on the leaves, creating a magical atmosphere. But Monty, Monty was still fast asleep. He was lost in a dream, completely oblivious to the beauty around him. He had been dreaming of delicious berries, the kind that were juicy and sweet, bursting with flavor. In his dream, he was feasting on a never-ending supply of these berries, savoring each bite and snoozing under a warm sunbeam. The sunbeam felt like a gentle hug, wrapping him in its warmth and making him feel completely at peace. Little did he know, he was missing out on all the fun happening in the village below. The villagers were celebrating a festival with music, dancing and delicious food. But Monty, the sleepiest marmot, was content in his dreams, blissfully unaware of the world outside his cosy burrow. Every morning, Monty's alarm clock, a little ladybug named Buzzy, would try his best. Buzzy was not just any ordinary alarm clock. He was a tiny, determined creature with a mission, his mission, to wake Monty up and get him ready for the day ahead. Buzzy had a routine, a strategy that he followed meticulously every single morning. Buzzy buzzed and buzzed around Monty's head. He would start with a gentle hum, gradually increasing the intensity of his buzzing. The sound was designed to be just annoying enough to rouse Monty from his slumber. Buzzy would circle around Monty's head, his tiny wings creating a persistent, rhythmic buzz. Bzzz, time to wake up, Monty. Buzzy's voice was cheerful yet insistent, a perfect blend of encouragement and urgency. He knew that Monty needed that extra push to leave the comfort of his bed. But Monty would simply swat at him with a sleepy paw and burrow deeper under the covers. Monty had mastered the art of ignoring Buzzy's efforts. He would pull the blankets over his head, creating a cozy cocoon that shielded him from the outside world. Five more minutes. Monty's voice was muffled and groggy, a clear indication that he was not ready to face the day. He would hit the snooze button, hoping for just a few more moments of peace. The truth was, Monty dreaded mornings. The thought of leaving his warm, comfortable bed was almost unbearable. He would lie there, savoring the last remnants of sleep, trying to delay the inevitable. The thought of leaving his warm bed sent shivers down his furry spine. Monty would shiver slightly, pulling the blankets tighter around him. As if trying to hold on to the warmth for just a little longer, he much preferred the comfort of his dreams to the hustle and bustle of the day. In his dreams, Monty could be anything he wanted, do anything he desired. The real world, with its demands and responsibilities, seemed far less appealing. So the battle with Buzzy continued each morning, with Monty emerging as the sleepy victor. Despite Buzzy's best efforts, Monty would always find a way to stay in bed just a little bit longer. It was a daily struggle, a routine that both of them had come to accept, but Buzzy never gave up, always ready to try again the next morning. One particularly bright and sunny morning, the village was hosting its annual pancake race every year. The animals of the forest would gather to flip and race with delicious, fluffy pancakes. The aroma of freshly made pancakes, sweet and buttery, wafted up the mountainside, reaching Monty's den. He sniffed the air sleepily. Pancakes? But the allure of sleep was too strong. He snuggled back into his moss pillow, choosing slumber over the excitement of the race. Little did he know that his friend Zippy the Squirrel was about to give him a much-needed wake-up call. Zippy was a whirlwind of energy, always bouncing from one activity to the next. He couldn't understand Monty's aversion to mornings. They're the best part of the day. 
He'd chirp, his tail twitching with enthusiasm. Determined to show Monty the joys of early rising, Zippy hatched a plan he knew just how much Monty loved blueberry pancakes, his absolute favorite. This time, Zippy muttered to himself, a mischievous glint in his eye, even Monty won't be able to resist the call of breakfast and fun. Zippy scampered up to Monty's den, a mischievous grin on his face. He'd been planning this for days, thinking of ways to make Monty appreciate the beauty of the early morning. Zippy loved the mornings, the fresh air, the chirping birds, and the golden light of dawn. He wanted Monty to experience this joy too. He had a plan to help Monty enjoy mornings. It wasn't just about waking up early, it was about embracing a new perspective, a new way of starting the day. Zippy believed that mornings held a special kind of magic, a promise of new beginnings and endless possibilities. We'll start tomorrow, Zippy announced with a determined glint in his eye. He was ready to take on the challenge, no matter how difficult it might be. Monty, still half asleep, could only nod slowly. He wasn't a morning creature by any means. The thought of waking up before the sun was daunting, but he trusted Zippy. He wasn't sure what Zippy was talking about, but it sounded like a lot of effort. Monty loved his cozy den and the comfort of sleeping in. The idea of changing his routine was overwhelming. We'll need to set your alarm extra early, Zippy declared, his voice filled with excitement. He was already imagining the adventures they would have at dawn. Monty groaned. The idea of an early alarm was not appealing. He loved Zippy, he really did, but sometimes his friend's enthusiasm could be a bit much, especially for a sleepy marmot. Although he loved Zippy very much, he found Zippy too pushy, especially for a sleepy marmot. Monty knew that Zippy meant well, and he didn't want to disappoint his friend Zippy, however, was not giving up. He was determined to show Monty the magic of mornings. He believed that once Monty experienced the beauty of the dawn, he would understand why Zippy loved it so much. He was determined to show Monty the magic of mornings. The sunrise over the forest, the morning light filtering through the trees, and the peacefulness of the early hours were things that Zippy cherished. He wanted Monty to see that mornings could be the best part of the day. The next morning, Monty was jolted awake by a loud crash. He sat up in bed, his fur standing on end. Zippy stood in his doorway, a sheepish grin on his face. Oops, Zippy chuckled, my bad, but hey, at least you're up. Monty was very angry first. Zippy had accidentally knocked over a stack of flower pots while trying to be quiet. He then looked funnily to Monty and said sorry, but then something unexpected happened. Monty started to laugh. Zippy's deliberate clumsiness, combined with his unwavering enthusiasm, was simply too much to resist. Zippy, with his boundless energy, dragged Monty out of bed. He practically had to pry Monty's paws off a particularly comfy mushroom. Come on, sleepyhead, Zippy chirped, pulling Monty along. You won't believe what you're missing. Blinking in the morning light, Monty slowly followed Zippy outside. After two minutes, he was wide awake. The fresh, crisp air filled his lungs. He felt so happy and fresh, he had to admit, it felt good to be out of bed. He decided that he will wake up early every day. He thanked Zippy, and he happily woke up early ever after. As the sun began to rise over the horizon, Monty found himself not just awake, but genuinely excited for the day ahead. The golden rays of the morning sun painted the landscape in warm hues, and Monty felt a newfound sense of purpose. He looked at Zippy, who was already darting around, full of life. Thank you, Zippy, Monty said earnestly. I never knew what I was missing. Zippy paused for a moment, his eyes twinkling. That's what friends are for, Monty, to show you the world in ways you never imagined. From that day on, Monty embraced each morning with enthusiasm. He discovered the joy of watching the sunrise, the thrill of new adventures, and the simple pleasure of spending time with friends. He realized that waking up early was not just about getting out of bed, but about starting each day with a sense of wonder and possibility. Moral of this story. A true friend will even trouble you to make you better. We must choose good friends and also be a good friend. A film by Satesh Kubchandani.